close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Hello guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching Circuits Bazaar. So today we are going to study a omnipresent electronic and electrical component. So that component is called register. Register is also further of two types like fixed register and variable register. And if I talk about variable register, it is also divided into two categories further. Preset which is also called potentiometer and real state. And real state is also divided into two categories further. The first is linear real state, another is rotary real state. So more practically is linear real state which, is, which we are going to discuss today in our project. And if I talk about the definition of real state, a real state is a variable register which is used to vary the flow of current in a circuit. And if I talk about the difference between real state and potentiometer is that potentiometer is not able to handle large amount of current but real state can handle very large amount of current. Like if you need to vary the current like 2 ampere, 3 ampere, 5 ampere, even 10 ampere you can vary through the real state but this is not possible in uh, preset or which is called potentiometers right so in today's project we are going to study about linear real state and uh, we will learn how to vary the amount of current in the real state hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side So uh, in today's video tutorial, I will show you two type of uh, real state. So this is the first type of real state. Uh, these are uh, five real state over here. Each real state capacity is of two ampere, right? And uh, the value of real state resistance is 300 ohms. So these real state you can use in series and parallel, right? Uh, and this is the uh, current transformer. This current transformer you will use uh, to sense the uh, voltage so that you can feed that voltage to the microcontroller. As you know that microcontroller is capable of uh, getting very small voltage like up to 5 volt. So uh, this is the primary winding. You will apply this current transformer in uh, series, right? So that it, the current will flow through this current transformer and the secondary side will get the uh, low voltage like between uh, 2.5 volt to uh, 3 volt or 3.5 volt so this voltage you will feed to the microcontroller through rectifier and can read what amount of current is flowing through these uh, real states right and this is the current meter this current meter i will use to show you the reading of the uh, real state right so this is first type of real state now i am going to show you the second type of real state on which i will perform the experiment So this is another type of real state. Earlier I told you a uh, small real state. Uh, you saw, uh, that was that was the combination of real states. Like this was the real states I uh, uh, earlier. In this we have used five real states. So we can connect these real states in series and parallel according to our requirement. Uh, but this is a single big real state. This real state can tolerate up to 5 ampere current. And if you want to uh, measure the value of uh, this real state. So you can use multimeter as well. Uh, I'll show you the value later. Now if I talk about this real state, so this is the wiper. This wiper will slide over this arrangement. And is this in this arrangement, if you can clearly see, there are small threads. So these are the wires. That's why it is also called wire wound resistor, right? Uh, these wires have a resistive element, okay? And this is the white color. This is the ceramic core. This ceramic core. Uh, when these wire will get hit then this ceramic core will be less affected by the heat that's why we use this ceramic core so this is the wire which is resistive wire and this is the wiper which will slide over the this arrangement which have a ceramic core and the uh, wires right and ultimately it will increase and decrease the resistance so in both side of this rehost state there are two connections this side as well and in that side as well from that side you can connect it uh, so you can measure the value of this real state right so uh, take a multimeter this is the multimeter we will set this multimeter on ohm this is ohm okay we can set at 2k and now we can measure the value of this real state so one wire here one here now you can see 0.261 0.261 it means it's nearly 260 okay now if you can see over here it's uh, written uh, 280 and the value 
280 value of this real estate is 280 and amps 1.4 ampere written over here so no, you can see over here 262 it means nearly 280 right because it's in point point two six one because we have set it in 2k and below range is 200 so obviously our value is higher so we have to set the uh, this multimeter to the higher value right now we are going to show you the practical implementation that like how currents vary in real estate because the main application of real estate is to vary the current through the uh, increment and decrement in the register this is the uh, ammeter only so i will attach this ammeter in series of this real estate so these are the two point you have to provide phase and neutral to these two point but uh, uh, like this is the wire this is the wire so one wire i have directly connect to the bottom point of this real estate this is the bottom point so i will attach again right okay the another wire of the supply will go to the meter which is ampere meter over here right and this wire will go to the transformer this is the current transformer actually we are using current transformer there is no need of a use current transformer but i want to show you how current transformer is also working because if you want to digitally display the value of current flowing through this real estate on the uh, lcd or on the laptop screen or through any digital uh, media then you have to use this uh, current transformer or any other device which can provide voltage to the microcontroller and then microcontroller can further the, uh, process that signal that's why i have used this current transformer as well there is no if you are not using current transformer then you can directly feed this wire over here okay you can bypass this uh, transformer but because you are using so you will attach at this point right Like here I have used a rectifier which is bridge rectifier and I will feed this voltage to the microcontroller to measure that how much current is flowing through this uh, real estate right now uh, I will provide the supply and I will let you know how it's working. So initially you have to make it in between. Now current is here, you can see that, you can see current will increase and decrease, see current is, there is no current over here, when I will increase then I will uh, move this, uh, this uh, slider then current will start increasing in the meter over here you can see. right 2 ampere current 3 ampere current 4 ampere current and they will become heat because the less will be the distance the more will current flow through these wires and uh, they will become heat so you have to provide very strong moment over there like this now 5 ampere current okay this meter is of only 5 ampere now i will show you how the voltage is varying at the current transformer right and uh, before that i just want to tell you the application of the these uh, type of real estate nowadays their application is decreased to the great extent because of uh, digital switching devices but in earlier times these real estate were extensively uh, used to uh, vary the light intensity like in dimmers uh, speed control of dc motor and uh, uh, like uh, there are other applications like oven mic uh, oven uh, and uh, uh, heater controlling right so th that thing were done by the real estate but nowadays because of the introduction of the digital switching circuits the applications of these type of devices is decreasing day by day now how to uh, how voltage is varying at the current transform i will show you that thing as well so be careful because 230 volt is here so this is the multimeter right and this is the output set the multimeter at the ac right this is ac okay now if i will put these two point here then you can see voltage is 2.2.4 2 right now if i will uh, increase 
increase a little bit that thing that wiper now you can see voltage will go here Now you can see voltage is varying on the output of this current transformer. Again, you can show it. Show it. This is the working AC voltage also varying at the output of this current transformer. So this voltage you can fit to the rectifier like over here we have fed this uh, voltage to the rectifier and uh, DC will be here. So this DC you can measure uh, through ADC like you can use Arduino or some other microcontroller and you will read this voltage and this voltage then further you can process to do some other activity right so you can measure the current flowing through this circuit and any other thing right. So this is all about real estate if you have any doubt let me know in the comment box thank you very much.